From Shame Pinata, I'm Colleen Thomas. This is Daily Magic for Peace. Today we will send love to the artists and healers in Ukraine. Welcome to The Circle. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're with us today. The only item you need today is a crayon. This could be a marker or a colored pencil or something that speaks to you of art and artistry and creativity. So if you'd like to pause the episode here to go grab something, this is a good time. So first I would like to invite you to take a breath. Maybe we can do that together. Breathing in and out. So our first grounding experience today will be very simple, something to calm our nervous system and something I invite you to do with me. We're just going to do a little bit of humming. It'll be very simple. You can hum along with me or you can hum something completely different. We're going to hum for about 30 seconds. So now I invite you to just notice That was a very short time of humming. I invite you to notice if your body feels any different in any way right now. And I think these things, a lot of the things we've been doing for the calming of the nervous system are things we do without even thinking about it. If we're in a good mood, we might just hum. If we're feeling bad, we might just sway. If we're feeling really bad, we might ask somebody for a hug. They're just, they go along with being in a body and kind of taking care of ourselves. Our nervous system is such an important part of our body. So thank you for doing a little humming with me. Our second grounding today, we're going to connect again with that grounding cord, but we're going to do a little breathing also. So as you're seated or lying or standing, however you're oriented toward the earth, I invite you to drop your consciousness a little bit further down into the earth a little bit further down. See if you can drop down, drop a nice grounded connection with the earth beneath you. Once you feel like you have that sense set, let's breathe in some of that earth energy. Let's breathe out, connect to the earth, and then breathe in some of that earth energy. And now maybe as we breathe out, we release back to the earth. So releasing into the earth and then inhaling again up from the earth. And back down, releasing into the earth. And I invite you to keep going with that process at your own pace. As you breathe out, releasing any stress or tension into the earth allowing your connection to become stronger. And as you breathe in, breathing that rich, nurturing earth energy into your body. And let's do a couple more. Invite you to do a couple more breaths on your own of the circle breathing, circular earth breathing. Just allowing it to center you and help your body settle and clean out your space a bit. Clean out that bubble space. And thank you for doing that breathing. So I invite you to grab your crayon and look at this crayon. 
And if you don't have a crayon or a marker or anything like that, just maybe imagine a crayon, picture a crayon, maybe a big fat one like the young kids use. And maybe picture it in your favorite color. And just look at this symbol of creativity. Creativity is an incredibly powerful gift that we have. We create more people. That's what we do. That's how we survive as a species. We create. And when we're not creating people, we create art. And we express ourselves. And we tell our stories. And we inspire each other. And we archive what is happening in our world. In listening to the news these days, a lot of the information is just very hard to hear. But I found a Facebook page recently called Ukraine UA. It's the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine. And in addition to posting some of the harder things, they are posting some of the amazing acts of creativity that are happening in Ukraine. They are beautiful and they are powerful. And I invite you to check it out if you haven't already seen them. So let's focus on this crayon. And think about how powerful it is. How powerful the concept of creativity and art and self-expression are, even in the midst of war. Maybe especially in the midst of war. And send love and appreciation to all of the artists and healers in Ukraine. Who are gathering together. Who are helping each other survive. Who are creating spaces, believe it or not, where they can be artistic in this time. Who value how much art enlivens our spirit as they strive to keep the spirits up of everybody in the country. We send our love to them. We send our deepest respect to them. And I send my love and deepest respect to the artist and the creator in you. You are far more powerful than you might even know. The creativity that comes from within us authentically us. It's not coloring inside the lines. It's not using certain colors. It's not making things look realistic. It's not anything you might learn in art school. Creativity is almost the heart of us. We honor the artists and healers of Ukraine, and I honor you as an artist and healer. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. And please consider inviting a friend. That's it for Daily Magic for Peace. You can follow us on IG and Twitter at Shane Pinata and learn more at shamepinata.com. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.